Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get optimal performance for Blade and Sorcery. Now before we get into any of the complicated um, customization things like in-game and on the Oculus app, the very first thing that you're going to want to do, like probably the most important step, is you are going to want to go to, I already have like a shortcut of the thing right here, but first you're going to go to your program files, you're going to go down to Oculus, you're going to go to support, you're going to go to Oculus Diagnostics, and then click on the Oculus Debug tool right here. Um, once you have that open, just drag this over here, um, turn off asynchronous warp space. This thing absolutely kills your performance because the second your PC has like a slight dip in performance when you're running the game, it'll automatically like force you down to 45 FPS. And that's why like when a couple of enemies start entering your your vision i guess it'll just absolutely tank your fps for seemingly no reason it'll just like jump from like 80 to 45 basically just cut itself in half it looks terrible disable that and then once you have that selected you're going to go up to here and just go to uh restart oculus service and that should apply all the changes uh the next thing that you're going to want to do is Go down to Task Manager. Now, unfortunately, I have not found a way to keep this option, but if you um, click on your Task Manager and you just click OVR, it'll take you down here to this thing called OVR Server underscore x64.exe. You're going to right click on this, go to Details, um, right click on it again, set priority and set it to high. You don't want it to be at real time because you obviously want to have other apps on your computer run at the same time. And if you do this, if you set it at real time, it'll basically just shove all of your resources into this and it'll crash your computer. But yeah, just set the priority to high. And then another thing you can do while the game is running is if you see it pop up up here, um, you're going to go to details and then you're gonna see the ex like you're gonna see the exe file like I see OBS right here. You're gonna click on that and also set the game itself to high. All right, the next thing that you're gonna to want to do is go to the, your actual uh, MetaQuest software and go to devices. And once you have your actual headset linked up, I'm gonna see if I can plug this in so I can actually give you a demonstration. Um, once the yes, this thing's active now. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go down here to graphics pre preferences. This now this is all like heavily dependent on the kind of computer you have. I highly suggest starting at 72 hertz refresh rate, um, and then start with like the resolution pretty low. And then if that works well for you, there's no stuttering; it's running smoothly. You can start increasing the resolution if you want your gameplay to be a bit more smooth. You can increase it to 80, maybe even 90. You just kind of want to experiment with this. It takes a lot longer to adjust this properly, but it's it is very worth your time. Um, I have an RX 6700 XT for my graphics card and a Ryzen 7 uh, 3700X. And what I found works for me is, actually, what I found works for me is the 80 hertz setting with the um, recommended render resolution of 1.0. Um, and uh, yeah, I found it's a pretty nice milligram between 72, which is a bit too low for me, and 90, which is looks really smooth, but um, unfortunately it takes a bit too many resources. But yeah, then you're just gonna click save and restart, and your software will reset, and once it opens back up again, you should be good to go. All right, now that we're actually in the game, um, I'm gonna show you the settings you can actually use inside of this little menu right here further optimize your game graphics this is going to be the main part that we're looking at first thing um in my first couple of testing videos on this game i was complaining about a red shadow issue uh because i was using this cinematic filter don't use that uh keep it on neutral the whole time it just i don't know why but for some reason this specific filter just messes up the shadows in the dark areas of the map like if you kind of look over there you can kind of see it but uh yeah keep that on neutral 
Bloom intensity doesn't really matter. It just affects how bright lights look. It really depends on your personal preference, like how you want stuff to look. I don't really think it, it affects performance that much. But um, if we go to MSAA, you, you want this disabled. MSAA, it does basically nothing for you. Um, it really tanks your performance and there's literally no point in having this on. Turn off MSAA. Uh, for texture quality and upscaling, it really depends on your system. I've set upscaling to normal and super sampling to 0 0.85 and texture quality to low. It runs great. My main priority is frames. And if you want your um, game to look better, then you should turn up the texture quality. Um, but mind you, this will decrease frames, especially when you're in combat, you're gonna notice a significant drop if you don't have a great PC. For upscaling, you are normally gonna have two different options. I don't know if this is because I have an AMD graphics card, but you're gonna have normal, and then you're gonna have AMD FSR 1.0. Uh, for AMD, when you go up to super sampling, you have to like change it around a bit. But instead of having the stuff on like a number scale, it's gonna have like stuff like um, ultra quality, quality, balanced. I would not recommend going past balanced if you if you find out that AMD FSR works better for you. But um, once you get down to performance, it starts getting really pixely. I guess this is like, if you really, really want some good FPS, you can go down here, but it's not worth it in my opinion. Um, plus it's like the lowest setting, so. Me personally, I like quality, um, but for me, I usually use normal. And whenever I'm doing that, I keep it on uh, 0.85. This is like the perfect balance between looks and uh, FPS for me. So yeah, and if you're not sure how to actually like optimize this stuff and make it look good, um, go down to performance. You'll be able to see your last frame time, your frames per second, and the drop frame count. And uh, yeah. Most of this is just, you have to experiment to find out, but turn off MSAA, and then if you're looking for more performance, turn the textures down, turn the super sampling down, try between normal and FSR, and see what works for you. For physics, keep physics quality on high. It, I, don't, I don't care how bad your performance is. This game is terrible on low physics. Do not use low physics. Like, people will start glitching into the ground, arrows will not fly properly, it is not good. Keep physics on high, and if you're okay with losing a bit of realism, um, turn max dead bodies and max drop objects both to as low as you can possibly um, like tolerate, I guess. But uh, yeah, clean visible dead, turn that on, and clean visible items, turn that on, unless you want to have items constantly being rendered across the whole map every time you kill someone. But yeah, a dead body is a lot on your computer, so lower these, um, turn these both to on if you're still having performance issues. If you really care about immersion, um, you can up this number a bit, but I still would recommend that you have Clean Visible Dead turned on. That's pretty much it for now. There is a performance mod made by Pipop101 um, that helps with the settings we were just looking at over here even more, but I wouldn't really mess around with that unless you're you just have a potato PC and you need to like start removing particles and actually like despawning people within like a certain number of time. But uh, yeah, I'll see you later.